Yeah. I think it looks good to me. Does it look good there? Am I right in the center? You're, yeah, you're. And right then. It's right on the top of the line, right there. Right on top of the square. The perimeter of your hat is like right on the top of the square. Perfect. And then it's in focus. Looks like it's in focus. Yeah, everything looks focused. All right. Okay, cool. I mean, it's our first time, so uh, we're going to clap one more time because we're going to cut a little bit of that out. And clap. We are live. Welcome back to uh, another episode of Two Rights Make a Wrong. Yeah. That is Daniel. Yeah, uh, that's Russell. Um, we're getting better and better each time, a little bit more technology each time. Last time we, we introduced the lights, and now we are coming now we see. to you from not only right there, but also right there. And right there. So so you'll get much closer looks at our ugly mugs. So I know we say this is the cheapest we'll, uh, we ever going to be, but this is probably going to be the most expensive we're going to be for a while. Huh? For a little bit. For yeah. a li- little bit. So so this is, we, we yeah, we've peaked. <laughs> nice. So how are, how are you doing today? Doing all right. How are you? Doing pretty good. That's good. Um, so what's going on? What you got for me today? Um, not much. Got a massage the yeah. other day. Yeah. You yeah. do that a lot. I do it r- r- often. Not a lot. Not as much as I'd like to. Um, but this one, it was an Asian place. It was actually a really good massage. Cause it's an Asian place, huh? Yes. It wasn't one of those for me, at least. Um, so I had one of the ones where the uh like the lady like walks on your back and everything. And it's so, real. It is real and it was very nice. It was fantastic. I would go back. The start of the massage though was where it was slightly iffy. What do you Um so the start of the massage she just essentially just like stretched me and again like they're Asians and they just like if they notice that you're not fully naked they will start taking your – like, if I usually go to the massage and I keep my underwear on. I know that sometimes they don't like that, but they will literally just take it off. So they, they essentially took my underwear off when they saw that I had it on, and they were, like, smacking my legs to get my legs up in the air so they could take my underwear off. And then they just covered me with this towel, which maybe a towel about that big. That pretty much just covers your private area, your butt in your private area. But they're stretching me. They're taking my leg and they're like bending me like sideways, so like everything is just like out. Okay. And and I'm just like, uh, like uh, this is just a show. Like they're getting a real show here. Um, but then she's like massaging my back. I'm laying face down. She's massaging my back from like in front of me, but she puts her knees right next to my head on the table. And so she's hovering over me with her knees on the table and she's essentially going back and up and down my back. But her like crotch is on the top of my head, also going back and forth on the top of my head. I don't know if this is normal. I don't know if this is just acceptable because they're there and they have to be able to move whatever. Or if she was also enjoying herself. I don't know. I think you got me too. Tood. Me tooed. Oh, I me too. Yeah, I got me tooed. <laughs> Is that even a thing anymore? I mean, it's going. To, yes. Yeah, we just started it back over again. No. I'm sure it still exists. What do you mean? Is it still a thing? I don't know if people hashtag me too anymore. I mean, I don't know if the hashtag is like that, but. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that was the last massage I had, but. It reminded me of a sto- of Jamaica when I was in Jamaica, the massage I got there. Like re- recently, the time you were in Jamaica recently. Yes. Okay. Not the time that I was there as a child with you and mom and dad, but yeah. this last time I was there, and I got a massage, and the ladies' like hands were like sandpaper, <laughs> so it was terrible. It was ter- It was the worst massage I had, but that was actually the first massage I had where I was completely naked and they tell you take everything off do not leave anything on take everything off I'm like okay so that was the first one that I was completely naked underneath the towel and when I got to the end part of the massage like the last five minutes she had me flip over onto my back and my members like off to the side over my thigh and she's massaging the top of my thighs 
from on top of the towel. And when she gets to where it was, she literally just smacks the thing out of the way. <laughs> she just watch out. And I like I'm laying there. My eyes are closed. Like this is nice. And also I just go. And then I just close my eyes again and just like start relaxing. But I was just like, watch out. <laughs> well, all right then. Yeah. That was pretty nice. Have you ever had a professional massage? No. Have you ever had a massage? Uh, no. No one's like, no girlfriends just ever just like rubbed you? I mean, ba- maybe. Maybe a little bit, yeah. Okay. Do you, is, that, is it something you don't think you would like? No. Okay. I don't think so at all. I enjoy them. That, good. Good. Yeah. I don't want somebody to touch me. Okay. Um, that's that's kind of what that comes down to. I don't know how you do that. Especially random, like you're just like going to a random place. To a random place, but yeah. Well, what's what's weirder, going to a random place, stranger you don't even know, or someone who also massages mom that mom talks about us all the time, and I get massaged by the same lady that massages mom. What's weirder? I feel like I'd be, I don't, I mean, they're both weird. Okay. Stop being naked and having strangers touch you. Again, I'm usually not naked. I usually do leave my compression shorts on, so. I feel like I would have to know you for quite some time for me to allow you you to slap my dick around. Well, yeah, that's not normal either. But I thought you were going to say you'd, I, you, I'd have to know you a long time before you allow me to massage you. No. And I'm like, is 35 years not enough? No. <laughs> not for you. <laughs> but, but yeah, but speaking of my underwear, too. You okay. Always th- you, well, you talk about my high-performance socks. I also have high-performance underwear. So. And it's also. What does that do for you? It's also assigned left and right. It's not. It's a joke. It just has a nice pocket for your balls. And when you're playing sports, it, it prevents them from slapping around because that's terrible. Because you leave that for professional masseuses to do? Yeah. Yep. Well, that's good. I don't know what to do after all of this. Like, you you talked about yourself being naked quite a bit right now, and I feel awkward. I'll let you know that. Okay. That's good. <laughs> um. Do you have more? Do you have more naked stories? I mean, probably, but I'll save them for another time. (laughs) Why not now? Because I don't have them written down to jog my memory. Fair enough. (laughs) Fair enough. Oh, so uh, before we hear any more, I am sorry, Dwayne. Oh, yeah. I said all of your catchphrases last episode that you had literally just – copyrighted and for those of you who don't know who Dwayne is it's Dwayne the Rock Johnson Dwayne the Rock oh that was a t- that was a trademark darn it the ro- oh yeah can we even say this anymore oh, i'm sorry the ro- he, he did uh, this Dwayne, so we, he did Dwayne this Johnson. so we can no longer apologize to him that's why he did it well <clears throat> i don't want to like yeah we need to we need to stop we'll just call him Dwayne Johnson from now on because that's not the thing that i'd steal from the rock like about all the things that if I had to steal from the Rock, what would you steal from his, the Rock? His his catchphrases would not be one of them. What would you steal from him? I don't know. I mean, like, does he have kids? <laughs> well, uh, you want to steal a child of his? Stole a catchphrase from Booker T. Who did? The Rock. Which one? Uh, the, I think it's the. You know, can you? Smell what I'm cooking or whatever. Oh, that's one of his trademarks. That is the one. I think he originally stole that from Booker T. Okay. Can we look at that up? Can we? Yeah, let's find out. We are we gonna make enemies out of the rock right now? No, we don't want to do that. We'll just we're gonna look it up and then we're just we just want to know for our own edification, but we won't say one way or another. Um. Um. But what? So you children? Well, I feel like. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, if I had to steal something, that'd probably be the most valuable, right? You you could get anything you wanted. Oh, okay. It was a move. I was wrong. He stole uh the people's elbow. No, the just okay. the one where he just 
slams him down. He puts his arm over and then just boom. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh. I've seen that from people. This this thing on Reddit says Booker T claims The Rock stole his moves and catchphrases. And catchphrases. And catchphrases. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. How old is this claim? It's pretty new. Oh, oh fuck. Oh. Oh, it's a joking thing. Yeah, Booker okay. T doesn't actually care, but I'm just saying that how much. <sighs> I okay. just, I just had to make how sure. What right does uh, The Rock have to claim this? You know. So, so. I mean, you have again. We kind of talked about it. He has all the rights that it is that he can pay for. Yeah, he just. I don't know. You okay? So. We are skipping all over the place right now, but let us introduce. Um, Oh yeah, we, new as voice. always. A new voice over as there. always, in, and face um, on the camera. We've got the two light uh, over there. Can you tilt it down just a little bit, Lilo? I, I'm assuming you tilted it up when you did researching. Yeah, I have no idea. No, you actually, can't see I, it I right didn't now. Oh, you didn't. Perfect. Okay. Um. So, so as oh. always, we've got Lilo in the studio here, and we've got <laughs> Carl. Carl joining the two right crew. Um, Nigel, Nigel is off on the moon. He needed. He had a mission. Do you guys call him Nigel on here? Not Jay. No, no, yeah. Jay. You're supposed to start that. So, yeah, my bad. Come on. Uh, I apologize. Jay. Jay. So. Oh, I want to also ask Lilo a question. Yes. Was it your understanding that I'd come back here at 8 o'clock? I think so. Okay. <laughs> I, I think at this point nobody and everybody, like, we don't know what's happening and we do know what's happening. In yeah. general, I don't know. I didn't get any know. instructions until 15 minutes before you guys were here supposed to start yeah this morning i really that's why he doesn't run the business <laughs> i have the ideas <laughs> it's funny though because like a week earlier we talked about me coming on a week earlier and then it was basically like oh but we have no idea when everything's going on and i never get notified about any of it so just, yeah, you know, i forgot i specifically told him as long as i know when it's happening i can make time for it oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. so Yeah. What? So that's. So Booker T is joking. We are not starting shit with the Rock. Okay. But so so what? So children. Yeah. What are you stealing from the Rock? I guess not as children. I wouldn't. No. I don't think he would pay you. I think he would kill you. Yeah. But we don't want that. We want to be friends with the Rock. Yeah. Not enemies. Yeah. Don't well, I'm just saying. Children. That's why I'd, I'm not stealing. I'm just saying. Okay. If we had to steal from the Rock. Yeah. There, there are better better options than his slogans. Okay. That's what I'm saying. All right. Speaking of stealing children. <laughs> All right. We need to get Liam Neeson on the phone. Oh yeah, your your fantastic movie idea. Yeah, we yeah. need to make another movie with Liam Neeson where we take his children. But we take his children. But we take Liam Neeson, the actor's children, and he decides that he has a particular set of skills that allows him to get it back, and he's kind of like delusional as a character. Like he thinks he's the character from Taken, and he goes to like Jason Statham as Jason Statham. He's like, I I need your help. I need to get back my kids and he's like dude you're just an actor bro yeah i think it would be hilarious i, I think it would be a good but it's kind of like it's kind of like the nicholas cage as in himself in the talent way yeah movie. it could be yeah, i think kind of a thing it could be a whole new wave of meta movies yeah it could be it's like being john malkovich <laughs> yeah that's the guy who he did the he did the movie where he like directed where it's coming out like a hundred years from when it was shot. Oh yeah, he did that movie too. Yeah, have you seen it? Yeah, because I'm from the future. Sweet. It was pretty okay. So how accurate is the map? Which what map? The Doomsday map. Since you're uh, from the future. I mean, pretty accurate. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um. Africa's bigger than that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Africa. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, but these movies. So this movie exists. It's out there. Which movie? The John Malkovich movie. Yes, it's out there. It exists. 
No. How you're talking about the Liam Neeson movie? I said someone no. took my idea. No, they will now because we're nowhere near ready to do it. Well, trademark I mean, look at look, it. look at the fucking level of quality we got. Yeah, you could do it. Yeah, the camera that's held up by coasters over there. <laughs> I mean, um, but anyways, but that's the type of thing. Like, I want to know if he did it on film too, to make it the most secure. Because, like, there's – that's the thing that, like, I would – wasn't there a movie or something like that 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 they – someone hacked and that's, like, what one of the people hacked and they stole and they were going to, like, release it everywhere? This was a while ago. But, like, that's the kind of thing, like, how do you make that so secure that no one will get a hold of it and get it out? Like, it has to be on film. Like, there's no way he did that digitally and is able to protect it. Right? I don't know. But, like – what is it? I believe, speaking of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, uh, Fast and the Furious 6 yeah. was actually two different m- movies. I believe it was shot. It was two different movies that they shot, and it was supposed to be Fast and Furious 6 and then Fast and Furious 7, but they really didn't like the direction it was going, so they kind of took some of what was in 6 and they or in those supposed 7, and they just made it into one movie. So, like, the plane at the end that they bring down and all kind of spoiler alerts – for a 10 plus year old movie but the plane that they bring down that was supposed to be in seven but they put it into six and all that kind of stuff so but there's a full movie there's a full fast and furious movie out there like if i was a hacker that's what i would flip and hack i want to see this movie i want to see this fast and furious movie that actually exists out in the world we just don't have it that that would be what I would I would learn how to hack to find that movie. Could I see a movie of just like Vin Diesel as Dom, and he's just like in a car that's not running, and he's just like, vroom, vroom. I'd love that. I mean, it'd be pretty cheap to make. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Why would that be a movie you want to? Because I think it's funny. You would. You know, in the comments, let us know if that's funny. Well, I mean, it's kind of like the juxt- juxt- juxtaposition. Yep, that word. Of the fact that, like, he's like this hard ass, this, you know, this big, burly hard ass, but he's like making goofy noises. Okay. In his car. Okay. So, like, satire. Well, obviously. Okay, well, I didn't know how serious you wanted him to be. Well, serious. <laughs> like, he's. <laughs> He's got to take it seriously. It's his main role, you know? Yeah. Okay. I like movies like that. Uh, what are other movies like that? Like Liam Neeson thinking he's but got... that's not act- a movie that exists. But it could be. What is a movie that you have seen that is that? I don't know. Do you guys have any ideas? Do you know what I'm talking... you know what we're talking about? I don't think anyone. Like, like uh, uh, Keanu. Oh, like serious movies that would be funny as satire. Oh, Keanu, like the Key and Peele movie with the mm-hmm. cat or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So that's one. Okay. Doomsday. Doomsday. What, what's the one where all the, the celebrities with like Seth Rogen and all that stuff and? Oh yeah, this is the end. Oh, this is the end. Okay, I haven't seen it. That one's kind of like that. Okay. Have you guys heard of Ah Zombies? No. It's a zombie movie, but it's from the perspective of the zombies, and for a while they don't realize that they're zombies. So oh. they're it's it's pretty funny. So then like when they see regular people, they're confused as to why people are like acting so weird. And it turns <laughs> out it's because Like why are they running away from me? Yeah. Alright. That'd be pretty good. Yeah, I'd I'd see that one. It's called Ah Zombies. Alright. I there's speaking of zombies, zombievers. Zombievers? Zombievers. Yeah. I won't this one I'm not spoiling for you or anyone else in the look up zombievers. It was originally on Netflix. I don't think it's on there anymore, but it is on a streaming service, one of the big ones. Find it. Look up where Zombievers is. Look it up. It's fantastic. It's terrible. But that's why it's so good. It's because it's terrible. But y- y- it, it's exactly what you think it would be. There are zombie beavers. Oh, that's good. Is there anybody? I mean, I'm guessing there's nobody notable in it. I don't believe so. 
Okay, like Tara Reid. I don't know who that is, so is she even notable if I don't know who she is? I think she was in all the Sharknado movies. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't... I couldn't tell you a single person in it, but also, I don't know. I'm not a pop culture person, so I don't even know the biggest actors. You're not a pop culture person, but you're watching Zombievers. Well, yeah. Okay. I watch things, but I don't follow them. I, was like, I couldn't tell you who these people are. Okay. Fair enough. Bill Burr's in it. Bill Burr? <laughs> Apparently. Bill. Right. John Mayer. And John Mayer. Okay. So, are those notable people? Uh, Bill Burr is a comedian. John Mayer is a singer. I know who John Mayer is. And the Backstreet, all of them? Just as Backstreet Boys what? as Zombiever Bear. <laughs> the Zombiever Bear. So as yeah, the see, Backstreet Boys. See, do you want to watch this? I know. There's boobs in it. Okay. Okay. I, is, I watch it. There's a huge twist. It's amazing. Are they not beavers? No, they're beavers. I'm not spoiling it, so don't ask me questions. I'm just saying. Are they not zombies? Twist. Are you guys? No, they're zombies. Are you guys watching it? The movie right now? They're watching the. We're watching. Thing, yeah. We're watching a preview. Yeah, we're watching the entire movie. I don't think the preview gives away the twist, so I think it's safe to watch the preview. It's also muted, so we can't hear anything. We just see what's happening. Oh man. Well, okay. Zombievers, everybody. Cabin Fever, The Ring. Cabin Fever and the Ring. In Zombievers? No, that's it's the producers or whatever, right? The producers you said? Yeah. 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 Oh, the producers. Yeah. So it's going to be good. Well, they I mean, they already <laughs> spent their money on Cabin Fever and the Ring. And by the way, this movie's like 10 years old. When did it come out? Does it say? 2014. So 10 years old, exactly. Look at that. Look how good I am at knowing the age of movies that I've seen one time. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's good for you. I'm glad. What other bad movies have you seen that you enjoy? Oh, I mean, I usually don't enjoy bad movies. Well, you've got, you've got Zombievers, you've got The Fast and the Furious. No, those are the best cinematic masterpieces got... of all time. Are you shaking your head at the fact that Fast and the Furious is fantastic? No, this Zombievers looks terrible. Oh, Zombievers no, it's not, looks it's not terrible. terrible. It's fantastic. That's. That's coming from Carl. He knows movies. What did you see? What did you see? I'm turning into a beaver. Oh, so they do put the twist in it. Yeah. They're, they're flipping the girl. A girl flipping just is in bed with another girl, and they're, like, about to get it on. And then the one girl who got bit by a beaver turns into a flipping gigantic beaver. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm really mad they put that in the preview. They didn't show the whole transformation, though. They just showed, like. They showed the teeth falling out, and that was beginning. enough for me to not want to watch it again. <sighs> Oh, it reminds me of Tusk. Tusk. That was gonna say that that movie was the one movie that really just gave me the heebie-jeebies for like two weeks. Oh, because Michael Parks just hits it out of the park. And I thought, no pun intended. I thought about that movie constantly, and I honestly thought that I would never be able to get over the feeling every time that someone brought it up. But now I don't care. I'd actually watch it again, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't care. But when I first saw it, I was just like, that is the one thing. It's because I'm going to throw this out here into the world, and I think people need to know this. Kevin Smith is the greatest writer. Did he? That's his movie. Oh, I didn't know that was a Kevin that Smith Kevin movie. Kevin Smith did I didn't know that was a Kevin Smith yeah, movie. Yeah, I know. But it wasn't, no, because wasn't it a, like an Asian movie first, and he just made it for American mm, then? Nope. So I don't think he, oh, okay. I thought it was. Nope. Justin Long's fantastic. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and Haley Joel Osment. And Michael Park, there, there was a fucking phenomenal. Except like for the way that the way that Justin Long faints in that that movie though was so over the top. <laughs> he's literally just like he drinks the like the tea or whatever, and he just and just like falls over. I'm like that was quality. But yeah, Kevin Smith, he's my he's my hero. He's my personal hero. Kevin he, Smith's good. He, I. He was fantastic on Degrassi. You really like Degrassi. I loved Degrassi. You did too. I don't know if I'd say that. Boner binder shield. We quote things from it all the time. It's because they say some absurd things. Like, hates from your mom. That's not Degrassi. Yes, it was. That was Radio Free Roscoe. No, it wasn't. It was the character from Radio Free Roscoe who was in Degrassi. He was dating Paige. Uh, He went to college. Wasn't there a third? There was like a third spinoff show. 
in that universe or something like that. I don't know, but like the grassy is like I think still going on. Oh, probably. Canada doesn't have many other media media that they're producing. Yeah, but I, I Trailer I, Park I, Boys I, went off and did their own thing, right? Swear net. Yeah. Yeah. They have Lender Kenny. Lender Kenny is good. Yeah, but I think they're done now too. Are they? they uh, this new season was out that that long ago. I haven't watched it all I yet. Thought it was either like the final season's either done or is about to come yeah, out. Then they so. did Shore Z, and then Corner Gas. Oh, do you remember the? Sh- did you ever watch Corner Gas? Mm, I've seen it a little bit. Me and Dad watched it because we went to Canada for fishing a few times, and it was on up there, and we would just watch it up there. And then we came down here. And we we're like, ah, oh, we wish we could find Corner Gas. And all of a sudden, one day, on one of the channels that usually shows like the Three Stooges, we was like. Corner gas is on. So we watched some corner gas at home. It was good. Was good you show. know, Canada's quality TV. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense why Clerks got an animated series as well. For the Canadians? Well, because Canada does that. America doesn't really do that a lot of times. Like, imagine if The Office got a cartoon. Okay. Right? America TV doesn't do the shit like that. Fucking Canada's TV doesn't. They did it to Corner Gas. Corner Gas is a cartoon. Yep. Oh. They, they Corner Gas is an animated series. Uh, Trailer Park Boys had the animated series, right? It was one season. Of one Trailer Park season. Boys. You know, because they like they to do did, uh, mushroom. The mushrooms. And they all turned animated. Yeah. Oh, so that's not like it, they didn't make it. Okay. But it's Got a whole it. season. It's a whole ass season, right? <laughs> might actually be its own series but it's it comes right after the end of trailer yeah, park yeah, boys yeah, fair enough but like letter kenny has little kenny's which is animated yeah did yeah. they do they really yeah. yeah i didn't know that one yeah, yeah. see they're canada, like, they're like they're like children canada likes to take their weird sitcoms and make them into cartoons that's because all of canadians are just children at heart that's adorable i mean is that of, why they're so nice <laughs> but like but like I also like it's a little different because we're corrupted down here in America, I guess. Mm-hmm. But that's like my philosophy on just like men, like men don't grow up, women gr- do. Women grow up, they mature, they stop playing with toys and dolls, and they start buying pictures for the wall that no one really finds appealing. But that's just white women. But <laughs> that's just white women. That's just white know. women. Um, but like, but men, so we Live, still get laugh, our toys. Laugh. We still collect our Pokemon cards. We do all this kind of stuff, and we still like, like we talked about on the last episode. I'm in my office bending. Like, this is stuff that like men do as adults, like as men, as grown up men, and women just don't do that. I women, mean, women I water bend sometimes bend. in the shower. See, water, water bend. Bend. See, yeah, good for you. Yeah, so I'm proud of you. When I'm swimming, I water bend. But also, he said it's like just a white, white woman thing. You're, you are white. But you're no. also sort of not. <laughs> no, I'm definitely not. I thought you said she you're definitely. a half. You're half and you're half. Yeah. So, but but she's definitely. But I'm not, not white though. Yeah. Society has deemed she is not white a long time ago, and it's just kind of in the. Thing. See, yeah. Why can I, Why is that? Why if you're if you're half white and half black, why are you black? Oh, the one drop rule. What is this a thing? Like, the, is there what, like why is wait, this? What was it? The one drop rule. Hold on. Let me get like the actual. Uh, I don't we're know actually learning that. something, and we we went from absolute nonsense this entire episode to a yeah. very serious conversation that yeah, the... may not go well. <laughs> oh, it'll go well. It Just is don't a, be a asserted dick. that any person with even one ancestor of black ancestry is considered black. Now, mind you, this was like more during everyone? the Jim Crow That's time most people to, yeah. keep, everyone. to keep oppressing black people. So, I mean... I feel like everyone either has some part Jew or some part African in them, one or the other. Some- yeah, I think so. Or Asian, I can imagine. Yeah, probably. But yeah, but like, but yeah, why, why is it all of a sudden that like, if you have a white parent from like Germany and you have a black person parent from Africa, you're just you're black. Like, can you not celebrate the German heritage? Oh, I think you can. I just that may have been a bad example. I think of mixture. I'm just saying, like you can. I think, like the thing is, is like you can celebrate your German heritage, but at the same time, like you're still black. But are you not white? But you're just German. Okay. Like I, I think that's how it is, right? Like, I don't know. Because you're Norwegian. What? What are you? Norwegian? Scandinavian? What was it? 
Hungarian? Yeah, my grandpa, yeah, my grandpa's from Hungary. Okay. It really all, honestly, it depends on who you talk to. Like, some people who are biracial, like, they'll just say, like, I'm black or I'm Japanese, like, whatever. I usually will say that I'm mixed just because, like, I don't identify specifically as one or the other. But mm. it's, it's a real can of worms. Like, yeah. it, it really just depends on who you ask because every mixed person has their own... Their own weird shit going on. I mean, it's good. It's good to learn this. I mean, I'm white, so what do I know, right? So, but yeah, but that's good to know. I I like learning about this stuff and perspectives from yeah from there, from the other side. The other side. I don't know. We're all the same. We're all the same. The other side. So I, that's, I don't know. I don't, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna blur that. that one out. <laughs> <laughs> from other perspectives. Yeah, I didn't. I mean, I guess. I've heard about like you know the scenario of like the one drop rule, like it's once I heard it explained, I guess I'm like oh yeah, okay. But I've never heard it named like that before. Yeah, me neither. That was the first time I ever heard it. Yeah. Um, I don't even remember where that came from. <laughs> don't know either. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Good. All right. Uh, so yeah, are do you have anything? I don't have anything. I've just been chilling, you know. <laughs> just you know. Sweet. Playing some games. Playing any good game? Oh, how's Unicorn Overlord? Oh, well, by the time that this episode comes out, Unicorn Overlord will have been out for some time. But Unicorn Overlord is technically not out. Oh, I thought it came out. I thought you just got it. It comes out on... March 8th. Okay. Um, so, next. I mean, tell us, how do you think it will be? Well, I played the demo, so it's pretty fucking good. Okay. Um, my buddy Brown that uh, I got playing it, he, uh, he said it's basically, it's like one point off from being perfect. Okay. He says it's so good. I'm very, very impressed with the battle system. Um, because it's very rep- it's reminiscent of a lot of different games. Is what like I think the good RPG system in it, um, reminiscent of a lot of games. But it's it, it reminds me of very specifically of over Ogre Battle sixty four. Okay, and that had just a really cool battle system in it that I enjoyed. Okay. So I'm I'm super excited for to actually play the full game and and to uh, see the what the story is about. Cause so far, the story kind of seemed a little basic, but sometimes a lot of those games start basic and then have dope ass twists. Okay. So, um, speaking of video games, uh, Lilo, do you play video games? Sometimes. Okay. Not very often anymore, though. Okay. I want to ask everyone. I'm gonna start with Lilo. Go to Carl. I'll say mine, and then I'll go to you because I think you're you may have to think about it. Carl may have to too. But well, I don't think so. It's favorite. I. It's not it favorite. Recently. Okay. It's not favorite. It's if you could only play one video game for the rest of your life, what would you play? So Lilo. Hmm. I guess I'll have to go with Mortal Kombat. Okay. Which one? The first one or the latest? No. Oh, you know what? Nine. No, maybe maybe Is one of like the later Tekken. Nine. I'd actually say oh, one of the later mm-hmm. Tekken games, honestly. Okay. Tekken, Tekken 6. 8 just came Tekken, out, right? Tekken yeah. 6 or 7. Okay. Tekken 8 just came out. All right. Just came out. Carl? Oh, for me, it's Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild? It's for sure Breath of the and Wild. And that, is that is that your favorite game? Um, That's a little harder to say. I would say Breath of the Wild, Halo 2, and, you know, maybe something like Old School RuneScape would all be up there. Okay, but but Breath of the Wild for sure, and Breath of the Wild over Tears of the Kingdom. You like Breath of the Wild more? I do like Breath of the Wild more because I like the master mode. Oh, okay. Tears of the Kingdom didn't didn't get a master mode. I'm sure they will. No, they said they're not making DLC for it. But like, that's not is that even necessary? Technically DLC. If it gets the master mode, I'd reconsider. Because the master mode on the for Breath of the Wild wasn't really DLC. It came with they just, DLC. It came with it, but it just. 
upped the enemies. Yeah. Right? So it just that's all. harder enemies, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that's all it did. It just gave you more of the color scale for harder en enemies. It added the gold instead yeah. of silver being the top. But is... Are there gold in Tears of the Kingdom? I avoid enemies, so yeah, there are none. <laughs> I don't. There are none. See, no. You we... you play a little bit more like he does. He avoids yeah. enemies. I'm fight, fucking fighting everything yeah. in those games. I fight everything. Yeah, I, I don't avoid everything. Well, no. Because I want the master mode because I want to fight those harder enemies. Yeah, so well, yeah. and you're well, and you're also you're you're more of a, like a speedrunner slash. You like difficulty. You like accomplishing the. Yeah, you like accomplishing the difficult things. You like I'm playing a sneaky thing. I'll play the sneaky part as best I can. If I'm beating the crap out of something, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, because yeah, I for me, because I love Zelda. It's my favorite series. I love it. Have the hats. I always wear a hat. You guys, you all know I love Zelda. But you want more? Oh no, you're grabbing your monster or whatever it is. Um, but. If, like, for Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom, you could literally take out every single enemy, and it would be the, it would be the same experience for me. I would I would still love that game without a single enemy in it. Except for I do like the boss fights. So give me boss fights. I love boss fights in all the games i played. I love boss fights, but give me boss fights. Which bosses did you like better, Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild? Well, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, because they were more reminiscent of... I, really, I did enjoy the yeah. old Kolkara fight. That's the that's the flying one. Yeah, that that was a really good one. I, I like finding that him for the first time in the depths was fun. Yeah, well, that because I think like yeah, I fought him in the depths like a few times, and that was really cool. Yeah, there's a few of them. Yeah. Yeah, but um, but yeah, but so my if I had to play one game forever, it would either be, um, like, a racing sim or a flight sim. Because I could do that for forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, forever. And like especially racing, racing, it's not really the same, and you just get better and better and better until you can't. And then if you aren't, if you don't have your best lap time, I will play it until I get another best lap time, and I will do that for hours. So that's that's what I would choose. Even though it's not my favorite, but I could just play it over and over and over again. What about you, guy? Oh, I thought about that a lot. Thought about that for a long time. Many years, in fact. I've thought about it since November 11th, 2011. Skyrim. That is the date that Skyrim came out. Yeah. And that is the game that I will replay forever. Oh, yeah. It's easy. That was, that was an easy question, actually. Right. I've played more hours of that game than I've probably done anything else in my life. Just unfortunately think about, think about how good you could be at something if you just dedicated I, that time that, to that's else. why i just said <laughs> unfortunately yeah i've put more time playing that game and i've done anything else and I, I, i'm not even good i just know things mm. some things very few things what, what was the like weren't you in the fog was he in the fog who's in the fog and he's just like just go left oh he i told like he would he was getting he was playing survival mode a couple of weeks ago and he was like, I need to get to a fucking town. And he was walking. And I just told him to turn and jump off the ledge and follow the road. And he made fun of me for knowing Skyrim's map better than I know any other, like just real life. Just <laughs> true. I'm horrible. I mean, I'm horrible at knowing where I, I know am. you go over to his house like almost every day, but I'm actually, you're so bad. I'm shocked. You can get to his house without, he help. takes the path of least resistance for sure. I would not take the path that he does. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. Because why did we, we, we got, we basically got off of Silver Spring to get back onto it. I don't know why. <laughs> That's weird. No, we weren't on Silver Spring. I know, but it would, no, it's just. But I, I get what you're saying, I guess. I mean, I. Yeah, never mind. I get it. I mean, least, res I, I will, the least amount of turns when I'm like going somewhere that I don't know where I'm going. If I'm like, okay, I need to take three rights or I need to take like two lefts and three rights. And I'm like, and these are the roads I need to do it on, and then I'll I'll just know how to get there. But like, but if it's like, well, here's the fastest route, and you go over here, and then you go down, and then you loop on to this other road that then curves around, and then you, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do that. He takes the route that has the least turns in it. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Yeah. Unless unless I can go half a mile south to hop on a freeway, I'd get lost. See, that's the only thing is like if I can hop on a freeway where all of a sudden my time is cut in half, yeah, I'll do that, but. 
I'd get lost. Otherwise, yeah, at least mountain turns. But also, I'm trying to. Re- I don't want to pull out my map again. I will look at a map. Excuse me. I will pick my. I will make my own route, and I will memorize it, and I'll do that. And I usually, when I drove semi trucks, I would do that across the entire country. I would look at a rap, map, pick my, make my route, and I'd go across the country. I it can re- follow. It really sucked when there was construction and something was closed. I can <laughs> follow directions. Can you? Yes. Did you have you ever turned into a lake? No. Okay, that's good. No. <laughs> yeah, to think about almost. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a tree. Yeah. I've never hit a tree either. I no. don't think. What have you hit? Cars. Another car. <laughs> You've hit a few cars. I only hit one car. And where was that at? On a road? No, you've hit cars in more places than just on a oh, road. Oh, you're talking like in a parking lot? Yeah. <laughs> no. I feel like everybody's done that. I have not done that. Yeah, it's bullshit. I have not done that. Bullshit. Have you ever seen any of my cars with a lick of damage on them? Well, I've hit people and never had damage you've on my You've hit people, car. too? <laughs> you're not saying no. If there's an unsolved, like, hit-and-run murder out there, we... No, it's not me. No. It's not me. It's not me. No, I... But, you know, the most damage my car has ever taken is when the deer hit me. Yeah. Okay. I talked to him about it. I asked him. <laughs> cool. I wonder if that will show up on the mic. I don't think it will show up on the mic. Maybe on the... Maybe on their recording. Well, we can mute that then. Yeah. <coughs> um, so you got anything else? You don't have any other scotch, do you? With me today? No, no I do that not. One. Just that one. Do you want it? Do you want some? No. Okay. I thought you were just going to taste. have me taste some other thing. I got nothing else. Lilo, you got anything? Yesterday, I watched a video on TikTok of a dog that learned how to, like, slingshot rubber bands. Yeah, I saw that, too. I want to call shenanigans. I I think it was definitely edited, but I saw that, too. If it if it is true, that's dope. Have you seen this? I want it to. No, I haven't. It's, it's, like, it's like a ch- chihuahua mix, whatever. And it, it's standing on its hind legs on, like, where there's, like, a bed or something or a table. And then there's all these rubber bands laid out and then, like, pillars laid out. And it grabs a rubber band with, like, its, like, claws and then bites it and then goes like this and then has perfect aim and, like, does it over and over again and hits these pillars. I want to call shenanigans. Well, the aim is what's the aim is what's throwing me off. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could teach it how to put its paw on something and bite it and pull it because they just do that with toys anyways. But the aim, it had perfect aim. Yeah, that's that. That maybe I believe that. And it's a chihuahua. Like, not, correct I think, me it, was, if I'm I think wrong. it was a chihuahua mix. Mixed with what? Uh, something else because it looked bigger and a little bit hairier. So I'm going to say, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, chihu- chihuahuas are not known to be the smart ones. Right? I'm actually not sure. I just know that they're very spicy. They're very spicy? Yes. They're very sassy, very spicy. Like in ramen. It's like in ramen? Yeah, it's a spicy meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> Why'd you have to go with ramen? I don't know, because it's one of the spiciest things I eat, so it just makes sense. Oh, was balloons. What? Oh, you were shooting balloons? Oh, you were shooting balloons. Carl, is that shenanigans? We'll put it up. We'll act like we're watching it right now, Russ. We're watching it. Does that look real? It looks pretty crazy. Does it look real? I think it looks real, but what do I know? <sighs> yeah, what do you know? It looks pretty... Uh, it, it'll be on screen right... It'll be on screen somewhere, right it here. It looks real to us. It looks real. Okay, it'll be on screen. You should have used the green screen. It's black? That is a black screen. I know. But there <laughs> there is a green screen green, over there. Use the green screen. Yeah, well, you pointed at that. Yeah. In the... we... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> we, uh, we could probably... We could do. We could take the black and we could put something there. It'll just, but it'll also be 
your Oh, can we have a chihuahua shooting rubber bands on my shirt? We could. We could do that. Yeah, his shirt. Oh, we, uh, mine's green, so Oh, well, yeah, we'd have to use your shirt then. We don't have to. You can pick a color. You no, can pick any color. It's green. We can make we can make dolphins jumping out of your pants. We could just choose maroon and there are better colors though. There are better colors. Is they choose they choose that green because almost nothing else is going to have that color in it. Yeah. There's nothing really in the world that's naturally right. that color. So that's why if we chose black, everything that's black would end up showing would end yeah. up being negative. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But we can make it look like your head's floating. Nah. I'm good. All right. <sighs> yeah. So Chihuahua's shooting stuff. Yeah. They are they smart? <laughs> are Chihuahuas? I feel like Chihuahuas. I want to get to the bottom of this. Well, so something I, I've heard, something I've heard is that small dogs are actually very smart, but they're temperamental and stubborn. So that's why they're hard to train. Chihuahuas what? are ranked 125th out of 138 breeds tested for obedience and working intelligence. Mm, okay. So it just says working intelligence. So they're not last. They're, they're not, not last. last. What's last? What's first? I just want to guess that the Rastafarian dog's got to be last. Come on. <laughs> I got to say, like, a retriever. A golden retriever of some sort is probably one of the smartest. Let's golden see. retriever oh, no, is the... top five. Oh, border collie. Oh, border collie, oh, yeah, but sheep herding dogs. That's what I would 100% guess. Where's Dachshund? Horses! Where is horse on the list of smartest Sorry. dogs? I just heard where, about this. Where is I just heard horse? about this. <laughs> I just what was heard. that? Horses are the smartest dog. Horses are the smartest dogs. Number one smartest dog is a horse. But where's Dachshund on the list? I heard that they use... We're finding out something. And then you can talk about your horses. What? Do you know what he's going to say? No. Do you know what I'm going to say? I have no idea what you're going to say. I... Th- Something about semen. I don't know. Semen? Oh, I thought we were going to talk about the mules, maybe. I thought you were going to talk about mules. Dachshunds come at 92nd. 92nd? All right, that's not bad. Top 100. Makes sense. (laughs) Okay. What was number one? Border Border Collar. Border Collar, that's right. Horse. It was a horse. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Horses. They Apparently, they use horses to do, like, uh, uh, sheep herding and shit, too. Because uh, because they fight wolves, they'll stomp the fuck yeah. out of a wolf. Apparently, yeah, yeah, I'd pick a horse over a wolf. Yeah, that's crazy. Especially if you put them shoe horses on. Apparently, mules will. Horses won't. Horses are weird like that. Mules do. What about mules? They stomp the fuck out of things. But so horses won't. Because they don't. They don't know. It's horses have a hard time knowing uh, danger, but mules don't. So like if you're, so apparently how I, I heard how I heard of it was like if you're going down a trail and there is a cliff next to you, and a wolf pops out of you, the horse will jump off the fucking cliff because yeah. it doesn't understand what that is. Kind of like the, the buffaloes. And then, um, but a mule, a mule will recognize which one is which and know that it can kill the fuck out of that wolf. Okay. And that's interesting. Yeah. That's kind of like how they did the buffaloes. They would just chase back in the day. They would just chase buffaloes off cliffs because they had no idea that they would die from falling. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, when would a buffalo ever think it could, could fly? I mean, where did we get? When did they have wings? I think we just, I think we made those because we just shove it in their face. Thanks for, thanks for laughing. I think we, I think we just do that to rub it in their face now. Like, <laughs> we made you fall off a cliff. I wonder and if we're going to make a different animal called buffalo wings. I wonder if they actually made a different animal. It's just chicken, Russ. It's just chicken. Mm-hmm. But I wonder if that is Well, they made a different an- It didn't I didn't say they created a whole new animal. I said they made a different animal, buffalo wings. Okay, we're going to have to go back cuz I could have sworn I heard you say we made a whole new animal. Uh, we made a whole different animal, buffalo wings. Well, I Heard, thought you said new, not different. So we'll have to see what it said when. And we maybe it, they were new, <laughs> so chickens didn't exist maybe, before that. Well, they didn't have horses. 
Who didn't have horses? Native Americans. The Spaniards brought them over. Yeah. Horses are not native to America. Okay. That's true. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. The Spaniards brought them over. Okay. So. So what did they do? What did they do before? Did they ride like deer? Yeah. What did they do before horses? They had feet, yo. They just walked. But I can't imagine that they were able to, like, traverse and like conquer the lands they well, did with. That's actually what we're known. Oh, there's for. an entire story about them kind of doing that. That really? yeah. it's a pretty sad one. Yeah, it's called uh, the Trail of Tears. That's how, but the Trail of Tears is how they conquered lands. No, from they other didn't people? conquer. That's what. Them. That's what I'm saying. But, but that's, that's what I'm saying. I, it's hard to imagine them going around and conquering. But none of America had horses, though. Okay, that, but that's, that's how they. But that's how they just did it. They walked. Wow, that's impressive. That's how. That's how we are actually on the top of our food chain is because humans have the ability to. Um, I forget exactly how to word it, but it's basically like it's sweating. It's sweating to cool ourselves down. Every other animal cannot run or do anything for long periods of time like humans can. Humans can are ba we're basically the only endurance animal that exists like that. Obviously, like horses and camels, and probably I, I think a whale would be considered something like that. Is this true? Yeah. The sweating thing. Yeah, I think there might be. Other <laughs> that's how we. That's how like we would f uh, hunt buffalo and antelopes. Is we would tire them out. Otherwise, there's no way we would catch an antelope before we had horses and everything Well, I completely like that. understand that. I get that. And a buffalo, because I was run like 30 miles an hour. Right, I get that. But the thing is, is that like with the with just being human powered, like I feel like the buffalo could like do a minor jog and get plenty far enough away from them to where the, by the time the humans caught back up, they'd be rested. So that's shocking. Mm-hmm. That's actually shocking. They can maybe saunter longer than we might be able to, but yeah. Horses, monkeys, apes, and hippos all sweat. Okay. Okay. I did not know that about horses. Hippos, for but some reason. There's obviously other dogs, like or other animals like dogs and cats that they pant, and that's how yeah, they yeah. alleviate their heat. Yeah. Dogs and cats. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. So... Yes. But like did they did the Native Americans like ride moose or deer or something like that? Did they have something that they ri rode before horses? Well, I don't know. I don't think so. But I don't know. I wouldn't be brave enough to try to ride a moose. Because no, then the, cuz then did Yeah. Because then did someone did the Spaniards bring them over and then like teach them like, "Hey, you can you can do this." But then the only thing the thing that it's crazy to me. Well, it's another reason how the Spaniards conquered things. Because all of a sudden, there is this creature that you've never seen before with huge, huge, oh, holy fuck, it's got two heads. And now it's got arms and it's got a stick that fires something. It's a god. It's a centaur. But it's a Spaniard on a horse. Okay. It's kind of like the first time they saw a ship. So, but okay. So, but what I want to know is where did, where did the, how far did the Spaniards expand? Because where did the Spaniards actually go? First off, because it wasn't South America. Wasn't, you're right. It wasn't North America. Hmm? They, were, they were in North America. That it was just more prevalent for uh, French people to have gone to the North America. Because, because I want to know, did Native American tribes throughout all of like. South America, North America, like into Canada, into Alaska, all these natives. Is there a history now of them not having horses and then all of a sudden having horses? And how did that, how did that, how did the horses spread? How did the learning that this is something that can be tamed and we can ride happen? Because if they didn't do it to other things that looked like it, like a deer, a, a mule deer, a moose, whatever, if they didn't do it to those animals before they saw horses, I think the battery just died, so you can. That's fine. You can replace the battery in that one, and then just try to get it balanced in the same spot. Uh, yep. Um, so if they didn't do that before they saw horses, 
did they see horses that just ended up spreading and then be like, we can tame this and ride this? No, or did I'm pretty teach sure them. And how did that teaching spread? Because I'm sure that there's people in Alaska, the furthest removed away from from where they were in South America, that then ended up having horses as part of their workings. Well, so first of all, there people used to travel great distances, great distances for things like that. There is evidence that that like. That South Americans and like Canadians would convert in like thousands of years ago, okay. even before the horses were introduced, they'd they'd just convene, and um, they would just travel. They would just walk. Okay. Maybe they would have like you know, men of labor carry carts by hand maybe that have maybe that have goats or something like maybe they have a buffalo you know maybe they'd have a cow that would that they could like have pull something but they, yeah i don't know what they did but they didn't have horses i can tell you that much okay. i can tell you that the horses that are wild are basically like because i guess like i think horses can just breed really easy and they just got out of hand Especially when it's one of those things that, like, if it's one of those resources that, like, the Spaniards traded off or something and uh, just kind of said, here, have these. And the indigenous people were all like, cool, but now what? And nothing happened. And then they just they didn't know how to take care of them. And then they just ran rampant. That's how probably wild horses started. Okay. That's crazy. It it's it is pretty crazy considering like a Mustang is like like a wild horse is the great American frontier. Kind of. You know. But like a Mustang is also like the mutt of a horse. The, the Mustang? Yeah, it's like a it's like the furthest away from a from a purebred. It is a mixture of all the horses. Mm. Is it? No. I think I thought a Mustang was. I thought a Mustang was just a boy horse. No. Can we look up what a Mustang, what the definition of a Mustang is? So Mustang comes from the Spanish word mesteño or mestenco, which means wild or stray. And originally these horses were descendants, but over the years they became a mix of numerous breeds. So... Mustang was originally a wild horse, and then they just mixed together with other horses. And now, now they're mutt horses. Yeah, so kind of what I said was sort of accurate. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. What's a boy horse? That's just a steed, right? A stang or a stallion? Stallion. That's right. Okay, okay. There we go. Yeah, and uh, on that, yeah. I... Thanks for joining us. I think we can stop. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, remember, like, subscribe, share, comment, let us know. Yeah. Tell us things. Tell us how wrong we are. Tell us what you think about Chihuahuas. Because that is kind of that's kind of how we got our name, though. Two rights make a wrong. We know some things, but it's it's mostly inaccurate, but sort of based on a truth. So tell us when we're wrong. We, we want to learn. We won't correct ourselves. No, we won't come back and correct ourselves, but we do want to learn. So tell us. Tell us when we're wrong. I'm okay with correcting Russ. <laughs> All right. No worry. I'll do it for you guys. I'll read the comments. <laughs> You're our comment guy. I'm going to read negative comments.